YouTube. What's the righteous word? It's your boy Gangland Neem, aka Neeman. I before the E. Golly, I don't know y'all. Remember that, please remember that. <laughs> so look, we back with another video. Um, this is about Brick and how he caught a, a gun case. So everybody's saying that. Yo, if this is your first time to the channel, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Please and thank you. I need that for the algorithm. If you go to the top of that page, hit that Instagram link. Follow me on Instagram. Shoot me any content y'all want me to react on there. Um, Back to Brick, though. So, uh, a little second ago, Brick caught a, a gun case, right? Um, They raided his house and some more stuff. But I'm getting from some sources that I deem are pretty reliable that... The tip-off might have come from 600. Now, um, we about to get into this video. Um, shout out to Scandalous Los Angeles TV. They be doing the work that I will not do. I'm going <laughs> to just be honest with y'all. Um, whoever bro is, I be in communication with him, but like, you know, it's like a, a AI voice who does the, the um, channel or whatever. I don't know. But bro be in his bag. He finds out, yeah, I'm just, we gonna get into this. <laughs> My man be in his bag, though. Don't play with Los Angeles Scandalous TV, bro. Let's get into this. Pay attention. Welcome now. back to Scandalous Pay Los Angeles attention. TV, where we expose the exposers. Well, guys, this thing just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Earlier today, Lieutenant Lard Ass, Christopher Loves Boys, <laughs> met up with Infant Asmo from Six Deuce East Coast and went live from Ramona's Mexican restaurant in East Coast Hood. This is all being done after Lovis Boys issued another one of his world famous last warnings to as most big homie, SPI. I think we're beginning to see a trend where niggas are turning on their own homies for the federal informant CS2 backs money. Now look, bro mentioning whack. I'm telling you whack got tentacles everywhere. Wack is playing so many different hands, y'all don't even see what's going on. He is a mastermind. Asmo's being put in a trick bag, and I don't think he is aware of it. As soon as he got with the Crip Cop, they went online so Asmo could lie on young Spiffy, saying he didn't have a car and a bunch of other stuff. This is really what 40-year-old men are out here doing. The next time we see him with Love's Boys, he's here at Ramona's Dissin, his own homie. A reputable homie at that and all for a federal informant. The reason I say he's in a trick bag is because Love's Boys has already gone on his page and waved the white flag. He told Spider he didn't want no smoke. So just like that Crip Cop is gone to go be goofy somewhere else, like we all expect him to do. But now Asmo is stuck looking stupid because he can erase the fact that he just switched up on a nigga from his hood. Just for sealed files, 600. Lame Buster Thugless is already done. The gig is up for him. It's no secret, and everybody agrees he's the corniest crip in California. He knows this himself, and since misery loves company, he dragged Asmo in with him. I hope Asmo didn't have a gun on him around the crip cop, because if he did, his house might be getting raided next. We all remember what happened to Brick after he was with the Marshmallow Man. Yo, pay attention listen to what's going on here because i mean it's like i said this is the work that i won't do <laughs> this is the work that i won't do but it's clear as day you know i'm not and i'm not gonna make any assertions assumptions or anything while well, i'm gonna just play this y'all yeah, listen to this he pulled up we leave we do whatever we do so when we leave rat cowboy and Rat Big Cat got on live, and Big Cat told Rat La Rat Cowboy on live, 600 Brick Baby pulled up, 600 hopped out with his blower, Brick Baby got his blower. This was on live, right when we left the parking lot. Did you guys just hear 600 lie on Big Cat right there? He just said Cat said that Brick Baby hopped out with his blower. Big Cat never said that. He only mentioned that Love's Boys was pulling publicity stunts, hopping out with his legal registered blower. No one online had ever heard that Brick hopped out with any blower, and Cat certainly didn't say that. Why is Christopher lying on Big Cat now? Oh, now I got 
like I said, how's the publicity stunt? 600 publicity stunt. Publicity stunt. Publicity stunt. Publicity stunt. Can't jump out with his burn. The whole Shabamski. Yeah. What this nigga say? I know what I heard. Let, let me rewind. Yo, y'all gotta be well aware too. This is what I be telling y'all about this online stuff. Like, when y'all doing this trolling or whatever it is y'all are doing, you gotta understand that regardless of whether you try to wipe it or forget about it, it's up on the internet. So even if you try to wipe it, it's something going on right now that just got wiped off the internet, but I got it on my page. It doesn't matter that it's it's wiped because people have clipped it there, there's evidence of this stuff y'all gotta watch what y'all doing say and this right quick man what the hell this thing say now like i said that was a publicity stunt 600 uh, publicity stunt publicity stunt publicity stunt publicity stunt can't jump out with his burn the whole man let me play this shit one more time just in case if y'all think it's a Y'all might have heard something wrong. I know what I heard. One more time. Hold on. Yeah, all the actions. Publicity stunt. Publicity stunt. Publicity stunt. Can't jump out with his burn. The whole Shabamski. Yeah, all the actions. <laughs> he played it three times in a row, so he can't act like he didn't hear exactly what Kat said. Ask yourself this question. Why is Thugless blatantly lying on Kat like this? Now, them niggas is rats on live saying we pulled up with guns, right? That's what they said. Mm -hmm. The next day, Brick Baby House get raided for the guns. The next day, Brick Baby House get raided for the guns. The next day, Brick Baby House get raided for the guns. Now, I got my, I got my gun license. So, who knows if they ran my name and seen if I got a legal gun or whatever. They ain't raided my house. So, let's get this straight. Brick's house got raided two days after being with Love's Boys. Love's Boys just said Big Cat said Brick had a burner, but you guys just heard for yourself that Cat never said that. So according to Love's Boys, Brick had a burner, and so did he. Brick's house got raided and his did not. Brick was with Thugless, and Thugless knew Brick had a burner on him. Nobody else anywhere said anything about Brick having a burner, except for Love's Boys. After being with you, his house gets raided and yours does not. Now Thugless is lying on Big Cat to shift the blame away from himself. He is the only one that we've heard go online to talk about Brick hopping out with a burner. <laughs> Big Like, what? <laughs> it's like, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, this is what I say too, like, even the people who do do this, like, investigative investigative journalism you can't be mad at them either because all this every single thing comes from stuff that y'all put up this is conversations that y'all have live on cameras and recorded for clubhouse and youtube you can't be mad at nobody but yourselves it's crazy that said 600 pulled a publicity stunt he did not say brick but y'all know I like no, this is him trying to, trying to backtrack. <laughs> this is crazy. You come address stuff, you know? Because a lot of people don't like to address things that's on their name. Me, I don't address everything because it ain't that going to be what it be. Well, I'm going to address something just for, just because I can. Love Joy look like he drink Diet Pepsi. <laughs> so, I guess someone was saying that uh, my homie, Rick Baby did an interview and he explained some details on how he was arrested, raided, or whatever. And I guess he also mentioned that he might have got this whole thing started because of a confidential informant for the LAPD. I wonder. <laughs> I wonder who this confidential informant could be. Golly, y'all, y'all crazy. And uh, they got some information. They got a warrant. They raided him. Well, whatever, whatever. So, or mention. To Look, we go in the clip there, and then I got, I got, I got a couple other clips. Right? These are just funny clips. They don't have nothing to do with, <laughs> with, with, with uh, bro, um, telling on Brick Baby. If he did, y'all listen to that. Y'all take what y'all take from that. 
But this is I just want to let y'all know this is the kind of character y'all playing with here online though. Just just pay attention. Just watch this. This guy is a character, man. What's up with it? Money Mondays. Um <laughs> some of y'all are probably wondering why I cut my facial hair and shave my head. Well, every now and then, you know, I like to shave my head and let the kids know who are going through different type of health conditions that it's okay, you know? Yo, be very clear. Be very clear. I am not laughing at anybody with health conditions, right? I, that's not what I'm laughing at. I'm laughing at the fact that this man is telling y'all online that he shaves everything every so often for these people with health conditions. I'm going to run that back. Um, some of y'all are probably wondering why I cut my facial hair and shave my head. Well, every now and then, you know, I like to shave my head and let the kids know who are going through different type of health conditions that it's okay, you know, and the heavyweight champ is with you and we're going we gonna to fight through it. So whatever you're going through that's, you know, causing hair loss, the champ is with you. <laughs> You know, and uh, where, where is he the champ? Show me, show me a belt. Show me something, man. Where is he the champ? My boy said, you know, just want to let you know the champ is with you. You feel me? You ain't alone in this battle, you know. So I'm rocking with y'all. You know, I'm in full support, and I'm showing y'all that, you know, you ain't got to feel no type of way about having to shave it, because the champ got one, too. Champ, their head is not shaved. They losing their hair, champ. Golly. We will get to this next clip, because this guy is endless, bro. I'm not going to lie to y'all. <laughs> I told y'all before, I don't really know what his deal is. You know what I'm saying? Is he playing foolish games? But just listen to this last clip we will get out of here, please. <laughs> I'm the clout. I'm the one everyone's chasing. I'm the one everyone want to be about. <laughs> be like, you know what I'm saying? And what make it most sweet, I could beat all these guys up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> <laughs> what make it most sweet? <laughs> it's not going to beat all these guys up. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy, man. Hey, uh, pray for Brick. He got enough going on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to Scandalous Los Angeles TV for that clip. You know what I mean? Uh, shout out to Lovejoy for these clips. <laughs> this guy is classic. I don't know what to call, bro. Like, he's classic, man. He's definitely something. Um, if this is your first time to the channel, please like, subscribe, comment, share. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down below. All jokes aside, even though it's hard. All jokes aside, let me know what y'all think about, you know what I'm saying? That footage uh, about Brick and how, you know, Brick got raided a couple days after being with him. Nobody mentioned no burners but him. Let me know what y'all think about that, because cause that's questionable. You feel me? All, all the jokes aside, that's questionable. But again, it's your boy Gangland Neem. Peace. <laughs> it's crazy, bro.